So my name is Mike McGuire. I am a, uh, the director of the Cape Cod Cooperative Extension. I've been a county employee for 25 years and the director of Cape Cod Cooperative Extension for the past seven. Um, I'd like to extend a, a thank you to the Barnstable County uh, Commissioners and Assembly of Delegates. Uh, our fine Cape delegation, Matt's already mentioned many of the folks that are here today, and uh, our federal delegates, in particular Rep Keating, uh, for his support of the program, and State Senator Sue Moran, um, who has supported the program in her role as a current State Senator and also as a Barnstable County Assembly of Delegate, who voted many times to provide funding uh, to, <laughs> to extension and the many programs that we operate. Um, so interestingly, one of my first jobs working for the county was to uh, go up to Provincetown and work on a cleanup of a uh, uh, Quahog bed that had been impacted by QPX. And I can remember traveling from Bourne uh, to Woods Hole to pick up supplies to Provincetown and back and uh, thinking, like, what, what have I got myself into? This is a very in interesting industry. And uh, over the course of time, uh, what, I've, what I've come to learn about extension is that we have one of the most um, interesting, tested, and um, uh, compelling stories uh, that translates science to our communities. Um, so the Sea Grant story is one that is based on the Cooperative Extension story. So for those of you who aren't familiar with land-grant universities, uh, in 1914, there was an act called the Smith-Lever Act that was passed uh, where universities were given money um, that created the Cooperative Extension Program as we know it today. In 1916, Barnstable County adopted that model, and we've had many, many, many people come before me. So I, I thought I'd just take a minute to talk about some of the things that happened and how these two things converge. So in... Um, Post-World War II, we had a, a cooperative extension director named Red uh, Arnold Lane, and he served in a role that brought uh, Bill Clark on, who was a previous director for 40 years, um, to do some community development. Bill brought on uh, folks like Tim Weisel, Carl, Ra Carl Rass, Bill Burt, uh, to do marine programming. And it, during that time, we were working with Judy, uh, who's here today, uh, as the... Um, Sea Grant Director uh, on many different collaborative programs. And um, at that point, Bill Burt and uh, Diane, or Darlene Johnson Morris wrote a grant that brought Dale Levin on, who's here today. And um, Jim O'Connell came on board. And I'll, I'll cut this short, there's a lot here, but we have uh, six current county uh, cooperative extension staff that are part of Barnstable County and Woods Hole Sea Grant doing marine and aquaculture work, coastal geology work, uh, and uh, coastal resili resilience work. All of this is based on the cooperative extension model that uh, was utilized and refined to create the Sea Grant in our community uh, to the work that you see before us today. The concept is an outstanding model that's proven the test of time, providing the best and most precious resource we have to our community, delivering science uh, to this community, leaving lasting impacts that go beyond what a few minute speech could highlight. I just want to thank all of those that have come before us, uh, the decision makers, the elected officials who put their faith uh, and entrusted all of us in this room with the public resources to make Sea Grant and Extension what it is.